Okay, so I take it everybody, yeah, mostly everybody back. Okay, um, so yeah, um, when it comes to this government, con when when it comes to uh, that plane doing the middleman, not you, JC. You gotta uh, make sure that you sub out. Oh, this for uh, any any construction, you gotta do your company gotta do at least fifteen percent of that work. You know, if it's in the supplies or something that you gotta provide you gotta you gotta provide at least 15 percent of it see what i'm saying um because that set aside may be set for it and then if there's any type of service of work you know if you're providing a service or something you gotta do at least 50 percent of that you know that's, that's you know that's that's the correct way of doing it you know um another thing i wanted to go into was uh the capability statement. Mm -hmm. So that some people would know how to go about mm -hmm. you know, capability statement. Okay. Um, with with these capability statements, they somewhat like uh I know uh, quite a few of y'all probably already got y'all uh, capability statements done. Um, I know Dr. Kavion, I think, yeah, he got his done. Um, Ed probably got his done. Quite a few people got their, their done. I think Brittany got hers done too. But anyway, uh, you can take these, like other companies, it's quite a few other companies that got capability statements. You know, mine is not the best. I'm gonna tell you that right off the rip. But you can, you can take, capability statements of other companies to be able to draft up your own. It's just like a resume. You know, it's no different than a resume. Um, you get your, um, like this, this capability statement right here. Um, they got the uh, company overview. It's a staffing company. They got the company, the company overview here just tells about the, um, a little bit about their business. Um, how old, how long it's been around. Um, how many years experience? I mean, how many uh for the um they got over 25 years um team experience, I guess. Um and and who they providing a staff for. Then they come here and they talk about their um um what is this the okay, this position. So yeah, these are different um positions and stuff that they provide in, in within this company, contract 199 um. 1099 employees, yeah. Uh, but then some of them have past performances, but now you don't have to, now if you have a company where you uh, you got a company set up and you don't did work for whoever, you know, or you don't did some painting for somebody, you don't did janitor for somebody, you can put them there for past performance. They don't have to be government past performance. If you don't have any past performances, then you don't even have to put the past performance phrase that period at all. Um, that contract especially, they're gonna be able to look at your company and see that it's new and never had, you know, any contract dealings anyway. You, the main thing you wanna do, you wanna make sure that you got your, uh, your contact information right here. Um, right here, they got product service codes. Some of you probably seen the PSCs when you were doing the SAMs. So if you have a, um, um, if you provide, if you have a product or a service in either one of those right there, you'll put those um, product uh, service codes there. And then, of course, you know, they have the NACE codes um, here. EIN number, cage code. This is the Don and Bradstreet number. Um, let me see. Um, some of the newer, um, I think after January, some of these newer capability statements, they won't even have the Dunn's number there no more. They're going to have that Sam's number. Sam's got their own code now. So they're going to have that. Uh, okay, let me see. Yes. Uh, and then they, they have the mailing address here, especially if the mailing address is going to be different than uh, uh, 
you know, the physical address. A lot of these um, capability statements, they don't have their physical address. They just have a mailing address there. Um, but, you know, your website, phone number, contact information, just like a resume, you know. Um, if anybody needs help um, with their uh, capability statement, you know, for the layout of it or whatever, I can get you some uh, some samples. Or you can just Google uh, government capability statement. You know, you're going to see a bunch of them come up, you know. Um, all right, so let me get into this right here right quick. Um, All right, everybody, let me see. I don't like that mute shit. I need to unmute everybody. I like to, I like to be able to see if somebody see what I see. Right. Oh, what's up, Ed? Okay, uh, you see the screen? Correct, yeah. You know I'm new to this shit, man. I don't be doing <laughs> We can see it. We can see it. Oh, okay. Well, uh, all right, okay. I want to get into this right here. Um, this, this, this right here, you probably won't hear a lot when it comes to government contracting. And mainly because everybody's focused on SAMs. Everybody's focused on, you know, SAM is the big thing, you know. But uh, so you you basically with no matter what county you in, it can be uh, uh, Dade County, as you see here. It can be uh, Harrison County, or Mobile County, Baldwin County. It can be you know any county that you're in. You you should be able to go. And um, um, just go and Google uh, procurement management, Dade County, uh, you know, um, Mobile County uh, procurement. This this is where a lot of local uh, contracts are going to be at. You know, you're able to go here and see a lot of um, government contracts. I mean, you can see here the. Uh, these people are, still have a whole lot of money that haven't even been spent yet just for a lot of stuff. You know, you go in here, you can see all type of different jobs and stuff. They, they a service that they looking to be filled. Uh, what I like about, uh, what I like about here is that, um, that the contracting agents, they're going to give you, they, they, they give you their phone numbers and all that for these people. But when you go in, let's say for instance, like, uh, let me find one. Uh, okay, here go here go one that's been set aside for toner cartridges, and it's running out to June twenty second. I mean June twenty uh, twenty two, I think. Hold on. I think it's run out of June 20th. Yeah, this run, this uh, yeah, this runs out to June um next year. All right, let me click on the ID. So they put aside eleven million dollars to run, just to run through from 2016 to 2022 for these um, toner cartridges. Um, 
And then these companies right here are the ones who put in for, you know, to get these contracts, which is Staples. Um, this company, CVR Computer Supplies, Random Source Incorporated. Um, but all these different companies right here, they put in to get some of this money, you know, over this, over a period of time. Um, so it's easy if you got a connection on some of this stuff. Um, if you got a connection with ink, ink and toners and stuff like that, then it's easy for you to contact these these people, you know, and get on this list. Just like these companies right here got on the list, you know, they got on the list as an interested vendor as well. You just have to contact them, you know. Um, now that's for like the your, the local, you know, for the local government, you know, that's for them. Um, and all you're doing is just going back here to uh, this guy, well, Margaret Brown, you contact her and tell her you want to get on that interested vendor list because you, you know, you can provide toners and stuff like that. You know, uh, you finna see a lot of this, a lot of these things here going around. And it's a lot of money all around Miami-Dade County um, for, you know, for stuff like that. Um, so, Mobile got a different, a different ones uh, set up. I'm gonna show you how they got this stuff. I think Mobile, Ohio, got a little something going on too. Like when you go to Mobile Chamber of Commerce, a lot of people don't even know it, but they they have um, uh, procurement opportunities for Mobile. And what you do when you go on here, each one of these companies here is in partnership with Mobile. Um, they got Airbus, uh, Acquisition Cent uh, Central, Alabama Department of Transportation, um, Baldwin County, uh, whatever that is. Um, this company here, Badger Construction Company, let me click and see what this is. Okay, so now this company here, when you come here, uh, this company is looking for people to join with them. They're looking for somebody to venture with them. So you want to come here and click where they say join that, you know, join our database. You'll click that and it should have had a form. Oh yeah. So you'll put your information, your company information in here, you know, telling them what it is that you do. Right here, they say company, uh, company business, scope of what you do. These people got winning contracts, they got contracts or whatever, but they're looking for people to, you know, for uh for work as well. Uh if if it was me with what we're dealing with right now, I think I would be con I think I would be joint venturing with every company that come around. Reason for that is because a lot of people, a lot of companies are hurting for employees right now. Uh, I would make damn sure one of my NACE codes has something to do with temporary help or temporary staffing. Because uh, going into next year, something gotta break. I mean, you got a lot of people leaving their jobs. I don't know what they're doing to pay, you know, to pay bills or whatever, but it ain't none of my business. But I do know um, it may run out and people are going to really be needing their jobs, especially like some of these older guys. You know, I know some guys in their 40s quitting their jobs. I'm like, damn, man, ain't nobody hiring no old motherfucker to work for them these days. You know, why you quitting your job? And they quitting their job, you know, for whatever reason or whatever. But if it was me, I'd be trying to set my own company up and I'll be trying to get me contracts with companies just like this company right here. You know, letting them know, hey, I I um I find, you know, I staff employees, temporary employees or whatever, you know. Um then you can come down here to the subcontracting side. I, I each one of these people companies are, are gonna be different. You know what I'm saying? Once you get locked in with them, you can come here as a subcontractor and then you'll be able to come in here and see all the projects and stuff that they got. Um, different. Some of the companies are different. Let me go ahead and click on another one. Um, let's see, 
he got a Hyundai Motor Manufacturing up in Alabama, wherever that's, I don't know. I think that's around up to around Montgomery somewhere. But yeah, here, here they want you to, they have a, a business partner uh, code of conduct. Then they have the supplier profile form where you go in, download that, send out your information. Um, it said the Hyundai Motor Manufacturing Alabama LLC prides itself on a relationship with its suppliers, vendors, customers, contractors. Uh, let me see how I moved it. And businesses, business associates. So uh, I, I would, you know, I would be contacting companies like this right here. You know, these are companies that I would be sending my information to. Um, Federal acquisition, jumpstart, federal business opportunity. Yeah, yep. Mobile County got a lot of little stuff. They got even got companies that's um even outside of they um now here goes Yates, they big. They got companies um outside of the state. Um if you're in the contracting or janitorial clean or anything like that. This is company. This is the number one company that I will be joining. I will be joining with right here. I seen these people right here give a contract to uh, some Hispanics. It was like a nine million dollar janitorial contract. Um, after the uh, that uh, storm, it was a couple of storms before that hit um, up in the Pensacola area uh, last year, year before last. They they cut a nine million dollar contract with the uh, Hispanic company, but. When you go here, they, they they have all type of programs. Some of them word their program different, but if you see right here, say Yates is committed to our subcontract and vendor outreach programs and continuously provides opportunity for firms on both national and international projects. We strive to provide the best value to our clients and involve both national and local subcontractors with respect to the geographical um, region of each project. In addition to our large businesses and local subcontractor and vendor program, Yates is very proud of our commitment to, to and utilization of small businesses. We have established a policy to afford small business concerns, small disadvantaged business concerns, women-owned business, small business concerns, veteran-owned small business concerns, service-disabled veteran-owned business concerns, historically black colleges and university minority institutions, hubs on uh, small business concerns and minority and women on women business enterprise concern, uh, opportunity to participate in our contracts. That's enough right there to tell me to go back, back to what we was talking about earlier. The more certifications you get, the more the contract is going to be able to help you. As you see right here, they named out every one of those set aside all of them so if you're you know if you're a woman-owned business you know i will make sure i get woman-owned business i will make sure i get that um what they call it the economical disadvantaged women-owned business if i can get the 8 day i get that 8 day i'll make sure i get that you know uh for the men uh i will make sure that you know I got the minority, ain't, no, ain't too much we can do unless you're a veteran like Ed, but uh, ain't too much the men can do besides just, you know, becoming a minority owned business, you know, just getting your certifications in that. But um, you can always partner up with women who are women owned business to be able to go get some contracts or you can, you know, if you're married, you can get your wife to be the majority owner, your mama, your sister, whoever you know if you want them to become the majority owner of the company so that you can get those uh, contracts to set aside for women owned businesses but yeah yates that'll be a company that i show be trying to get with i'll be sent you know i'll be punching that button right there they they do a lot of um a lot of work with um uh, small business contractors but um But yeah, um, different. Like I say, every every um, 
every um, county, local government going to be different when you go to them. But if you type in procurement for that area, oh, let me show you this right here right quick too. I seen this earlier. This was up in uh, Dayton, Ohio. These, they was looking for uh, um, Oh, okay, this is a procurement. This is just one that I seen that I um, I was looking at. But this is a procurement um, where the city is looking for uh, a four wheel drive uh, crew cab pickup truck. Yeah, pickup truck. Yeah, somebody can get somebody can get this contract. The only thing they got to, I'm going to tell you how, I'm going to show you how easy it is to get this contract right here. You can go to, and, and it's still available for, you know, uh, whoever's up there in uh, in Ohio. Uh, damn, let me see. Uh, I think Kimberly up there in Ohio. But anyway, um, this one is still available. You only thing you do. You take, you print out this, the whole 17 pages of this right here, and you take this to Ford or whatever. Tell them, say, look, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking to buy this vehicle. I'm looking to buy this vehicle for the government. All right. The government going to tell you the specs of what they on that vehicle. Let me see. That's the building instruction. Okay. They normally have the specs where they telling you what all that truck needs. Oh, here you go. Yeah. So you're basically taking this, this, this solicitation right here to a Ford, Chevrolet, or whatever, telling them what you're looking for. They're going to check off right here to make sure all of this right here applies for that vehicle. What they also gonna do is they're gonna look at this and they're gonna tell you if they have a vehicle that matches all of this right here. And then they're gonna check. Anything that they don't have, they're gonna put a statement there saying that they don't have that. Same thing for right here for the engine performance that this contractor is looking for. And then uh, transmission, the electrical area, they're gonna check off that. They want cargo bed lighting. Uh, then they're telling you everything that they want or expect for the body. And then the interior. See, most of this, they're not going to ask you for nothing that probably don't already exist on a vehicle. But what they will tell you is that the vehicle got to be new. They ain't want no used vehicle. They come in all the accessories. I mean, the, the car lot or automobile place where you're at, they're going to do all the work for you. See what I'm saying? They're going to do all the work for you because they're the one that's checking off everything that's needed on this new vehicle. All right. This con this contract right here may be one vehicle that they're looking for right now. But when you get there, they may say, okay, well, we're looking for five of them, five vehicles. When you go there, this these people are ready to cut a check for that truck. So when you go to the car lot or truck, what you know, the, the lot for the truck or whatever, and you present them with this, and they say, Yeah, we have that truck. Okay. You asking them what type of deal they're gonna give you on the truck? Whether it's um what they call that shit um when you get in a brand new car they have a, a rebate. A rebate. Yeah. So what you do is you 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 keep the rebate. You you gonna contract it out to yourself. They are gonna come sell you this vehicle. You are gonna sell it to the city. You know, uh, and. The city gonna agree to play a certain amount. You're gonna make a little bit even shit. If it ain't but five grand, shit. You didn't, you know, you made five grand off of it. You know what I'm saying? But what happens when the city come back and say, now we need 10 trucks? Well, that five grand turned to 50 real quick. Probably more than that now because you're buying multiple vehicles at one time, you know. But something like this right here, shit, somebody can easily take that contract right there, you know, and they ain't even gotta be from Ohio. You know, the only thing they got to do is send this over to um, one of the salesmen that the, the Ford place somewhere. He he said, hey, we got that truck and somebody get that deal. You know, uh, you know, it's just as easy as that, you know. Um, 
for something like that, you know. But let me get back over here because this is what uh, everybody going to be getting ready to do next. Um, the small, this right here is um, for with the SBA. So most people got their sounds back already. Some people getting ready to do this, this part right here this weekend. Um, going in, you know, that's, that's got this sound. You can't do this part right here until your sound actually come back as active. But uh, these are your set asides here, over here on the left hand side. But uh, you want to go to sba.gov and you want to just just go to sba.gov. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, set aside and go in and apply for whatever set aside it is that you want to be applying for. You know, they tell you right here, you know, what what obligation has to be met on your part in order to be able to get these set aside. But you basically gonna go here. Uh, when you click register, it's gonna ask you for your, uh, it's gonna really take you over the sounds so that you can, uh, if you have your sounds already, you're, you're just sign in. Uh, you sign in and then you can go ahead and start, you know, completing that process for, uh, for that registration. Um, but, and then it's the same thing for uh, the women on small business, any of these right here. Uh, here go, this one right here is the one we were talking about, which is the SBA protege program. Uh, uh, you come here and you really want to look over these little documents that they got for the uh, the mentor project program. I went through them a few times. Um, it's, it, you know, it ain't too technical or nothing like that, but um, they tell you what all you need to do to be able to uh, qualify for that program. Most of most of us gonna be able to uh, uh, qualify regardless, you know. Um, this right here is what they need to be to qualify as a mentor. And then this what you, which is us, you have to be to um, qualify as a protege, you know. But, uh, and then you apply for the program, you know, with uh, SBA, you know, this is, this is what's gonna put you in a position to make, you know, the big money, you know. But, uh, so hopefully everybody is uh, uh, either finishing up on that course, but you, the main thing is being able to get in, go and knock that part out and get to that PDF format at the, at the end of the course so that you can go ahead and start uh, getting educated on these particular sites like this right here where you can go to and find the um, the set aside contracts, you know, in that PDF format, it goes over uh, over 13 different sites. I know um, to be able to go and find the small the, the set aside contracts, you know, uh, I know a lot of a few of them, few people. I know uh, it's going to be targeting some of the bigger contracts because they already got hooked up with some some contractors already, but uh, don't leave out these little bitty, I ain't going to say little bitty, don't leave the crumbs out, you know, because these right here turn to big contracts. Um, big time. Education training. Rural Housing Services. Let's see what they say. This was on the 14th, October the 14th. It's a, here was a little $5,500 contract right here. Somebody got, um, let's see what the scope for it was. Oh, shit. That was easy money right there. Somebody made $5,500 just to uh, find somebody to do some appraisal services. That's going out giving an appraisal on something. Number action one. So one for one. Somebody got fifty five hundred dollars just to go out and do an appraisal. Shit, they don't charge four and five hundred dollars to do a damn appraisal. Somebody has a nice lick. That's fifty five hundred dollars right there. Damn, that's crazy. 
but yeah in that um uh, um uh, in that uh that pdf it's going to show you how to it's going to show you how to go through this stuff and you know different different you know, I'll show you how to go to these different sites and whatever to be able to look for some of these contracts, you know. I go to janitorial a lot because that's where a big percentage of this money is going to be spent on um, coming up um, next, uh, well, going into next year. This contract right here was started out as a $2,000 contract, ended up being $145,000 right here. So he went in looking to, looking to, to get a $2,000 contract, walked out there with $145,000. Purpose of this modification, okay. Doing level two pandemic cleaning through December the 31st of this year. That ain't no, that ain't, that ain't a bad lick, 145,000 just for a, a few more months. He was the only one that took that off. Hmm. But I tell you, janitorial is going to be a lot of money in janitorial, you know. So, you know, you guys trying to get in and if you're trying to figure out something on how to make some money or how to jump in this thing and make some good money and be able to, you know, not worry about if you can fulfill your end of the contract. See, janitorial is the best way to jump in. You know, I jump in on that for uh, janitorial. See, we learn how to clean at home. You know, when we, was, when we was growing up, we learned how to clean. Everybody know how to do that, you know. And then you ain't got to worry about it being such a dangerous job for you. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but yeah, but anyway, hopefully... Uh, if, if anybody got any questions or whatever, y'all can hit me up over the weekend. Um, um, uh, but main thing is try to finish up on that little course so we can move forward next week. Um, you know, and everybody be on the same page when it comes to, you know, going to these different sites or whatever. Or when I'm looking at pulling up stuff, you already be familiar with it, you know. Yeah. Anybody got any questions? Yeah. I like they still muted. Oh, they still muted. Yeah. I see you didn't got you didn't got better now. Be a better. <laughs> 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 oh shit. Um, oh, okay, well okay. I think I'm done. I'm done with that the the online course. I think I have to just go through those PDFs to make sure that I'm up to par and to um start filling out my what is it the what's that the first what is it called? It was no, I was saying the uh, certification. Yes, I, I yeah, that I got to go and start doing it. Yeah, you gotta do you got you do that after you get your sounds back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, so the Sam's the Sam's should be back. What? Is it what this 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 week or next week? It's, I mean wait a minute. It sure normally take me. uh like 10 working days, but um I talked with somebody over at GSA. They told me that people been normally getting them back lately in seven working days. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Yeah, but about, about, about seven days or shorter. They've been doing it quick. Yeah, they've been, yeah, that's what they told me. What okay. if you haven't heard back from anyone yet? Huh? What if you haven't heard back from them? We just keep uh, watching. No, nah, you just keep, yeah, just um re-watching your email. See? When you put in for that Sam, you are uh, have you uh, you have you gotten your uh, information from the IRS that they pay us? I, I haven't gotten anything. Who is this? This a Kiana. Okay, and you put your Sam in. I, I I submitted my application and everything. But does that mean 
does that mean when um Sam's get your get your application? Because I know I've been receiving like inquiries that's been hitting on my was it my Duns and Burks or something of that credit. Mm -hmm. So does that mean that they've like went in there and did something or they just don't? Nah, Sam ain't gonna be running. No, they ain't, they ain't gonna be no. running your credit or nothing. No. Now they're gonna be. That probably be from other. Don and Bradstreet sell your information. They may be going in, being in or something, but the government ain't gonna be doing it. Um, uh, when, uh, when did you put your um? Uh, when did you put your Sam in? Um, uh, this is Keon. I put mine in last weekend. Wait a minute. You should have um last weekend. You would have already gotten uh. You, you might have already. checked your spam. You have already gotten. The uh the first email you would have got back from would be from the IRS. Correct. Okay, I'll have to. Oh, from that. What what will it say? Um, it's gonna say um that you was a uh, approved that you passed or, or that you it's gonna either say you passed or that your IRS verification didn't pass. One of the two. Um, I haven't received. Mm -mm. Okay, I'll have to re. I haven't received anything. Okay, so this is what we'll do then. Um, okay, let me see. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow, um, email me or either or either text me or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. So and then I I go on there with you and pull you. I I go through it with you so you can pull up your works your uh, work. What is it, workspace? So you can pull your workspace up and look at the status of it. Okay, I can go into the Sam, my Sam's account to look yeah. at the status. Uh huh. And go to workstation. Okay, workstation. I, I thought. Okay, I can do that. I, I just I thought I would receive some, you know, some type of notification. Yeah, you would. You 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 were supposed to have received it from uh, the IRS. You may have gotten it. You may just have to look. You know. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking you probably already gotten it. You, you, you know. Yeah, but. Uh, but yeah, you can you can log in and check in the workspace. Okay. Yeah. But if anybody anybody have any problems, y'all just hit me up. Uh, uh, and and I try to get y'all through it. I have a question. Uh huh. Okay, so I've had my Sam since last year, and I'm A8 certified already. But how do I go in and add um, additional NACE code? I don't know if I'm overlooking it. Oh, I, I'll show you how to do it tomorrow. Okay. Basically, what you got to do is you got to go in and click update and then go in and it'll ask you what part do you want to update. You're going to go to core values. That's where your NACE code is going to be at. Okay. I'm going to less than a minute, Twan. Oh, we got less than a minute. Oh, okay. Well, listen, anybody have any more questions? Well, I hope everybody have a good weekend. Um, if anybody else have any more questions or whatever, just hit me up. I'm gonna be up for a little, a little bit longer work, working on some stuff. Um, but until then, everybody have a good weekend. You too. Thank you. All right, you. All right bro. All right, thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, y'all have Bye. a good night. Thank you.